Yo, what's up, guys? Today we're watching the Green Mile with Michael Clark Duncan and Tom Hanks. So this was our Patreon poll winner. I'm super excited to watch it because Tom Hanks can't miss, baby. <laughs> and I've seen this movie. I was like, I was honestly, I was like eight years old probably when I saw this movie. So have you ever seen it? No, I've I've not seen it, but I did hear it's based off a Stephen King novel, just like Shawshank Redemption was. So this will be our second adaptation of a Stephen King novel, and I'm really excited to get into this one. Guys, I don't know why I was watching movies like this when I was that age. <laughs> I know. I think, well, my grandma used to work at the Salvation Army. She would retire and she would volunteer. And when the VHSs would come through, if it was something that she would want, she would get it right. But she was only like a horror movie fan. And for some reason, she had this one. I guess she liked it. And one day we watched it. I don't remember it. I have no idea what it's about to be about. I'm really excited to see the story. This one's long. This one's three right. hours. So I did see it won like four Oscars. So oh wow, that's did it really yeah. So or nominated for four. It was either a one or nominated. So that's really cool. I can't wait to get into it. Yeah, man. Let us know uh, what is your favorite Michael Clark Duncan movie. What are some of the best movies that he's in? Because the character is really familiar to me. But like I said, I've seen this movie. So maybe. Maybe that's where, but have you seen right. him in any movies? I, do I don't know? think so. Does you, do you recognize his face? No. Yeah, I don't know, guys. Anyways, man, like, comment, subscribe. Hit us up on Patreon if you guys want to see the full-length reactions. And I'm excited to go, man. Three-hour movies are usually pretty amazing because there's a big story to be told. So, And anything before the year 2000 has been superb. Can't wait to get into it. Let's, Let's go. go. I'm settled in. Let's do it. Okay, guys, super quick before we get into it. I know this movie is a novel uh, based on a novel by Stephen King. My friend Mike, he sent me over this really awesome book called Alcatraz, The Last Escape. It's basically making the case that when these dudes escape, they went on to live lives in Brazil. Brazil, man. So uh, it's one of those mysteries, man, almost like D.B. Cooper. Definitely go check it out. He makes a really great case. And there's so many illustrations in the book. It's just a beautiful book. It's put together so well. Uh, it presents a lot of evidence. And it's just a really good read. So if you're into history, awesome books, stuff like that, definitely go check it out. Mike, thanks so much for sending over the book, man. He even signed it for me, which is pretty cool. First time anyone's ever signed a book. So let's go. Rated R. So seven years old, you're watching a rated R film. Oh, yeah, dude. I told you, I watched Friday the 13th, or not Friday the 13th, Nightmare on Elm Street when I was like five. That was my favorite movie when I was five. That's why I'm kind of weird. Oh, he's hunting Wabbit. Manhunt, obviously. I know, I was just making him out to be Elmer Fudd. Mm -hmm. Don't take me serious. Shawshank guy. Bro, that'd be scary if all them dudes was coming at you. Especially with a pitchfork. Like and them hound dogs. The green mile. You love your sister. You make it a noise and all that happens. That man gets out of bed better than I do. Yeah. <laughs> So far, I don't remember any of this. He could pass as Tom Hanks' dad, that guy. I not want to just tell him. How about looking, Paul? It's better. <laughs> okay. Morning, Mr. Edgecombe. He's slick. Dry and cold. Same as always. Cold as manner. Don't let Nurse Godzilla catch you. She'll raise holy hell. <laughs> Where do you go every day? Just walk. I like to walk. Oh, I know this is breaking my heart. That's one thing about me. I love old people. I know I, I was really such a freaking soft people. spot for them. My age, old people. That's beautiful, isn't it? That's just so sad because he's by himself. He has a lonely life out there, boys. Maybe that's the Green Mile already. Hey, you could be right. Let's just get these out. Why do we always watch this stuff? It's interest. Bunch of inbred trailer trash. <laughs> You're dead. You can't come back. It's bad. Are you all right? You look tired. You're not yourself. No, I'm, I'm fine. I, I promise. What was that little shack that he found? I know. I had a few bad dreams. It happens. <laughs> he is so not impressed. <laughs> He'd rather everybody just play checkers. Oh, this here is worth a look. <laughs> They're so adorable. This movie just has like an iconic feel to it already. Mm -hmm. Her dress is iconic to me. I love that thing. <laughs> oh, what is it? Oh, I hope we find out what that means. 
Baby, you got three hours, Mom. <laughs> this is going to be <laughs> tough. <laughs> sometimes the past just catches up with you, whether you want it to or not. Was it the film? I have spoken of these things for a long time, Ellie. I ever tell you that I was a prison guard during the Depression? Uh, you've mentioned it. Did I mention that I was in charge of death row, that I supervised all the execution? Ooh. Death row was called the last mile. We called ours the green mile. The floor was the color of faded lives. We had the electric chair. Oh, Sparky, we called it. Oh, goodness. 1935, that takes the prize. That year, I had the worst urinary infection of my life. It was also the year of John Coffey and the two dead girls. I just realized this is going to be a movie where he tells his story. Oh, uh, and that's what they were hunting at the beginning because right. it was a little girl's like dress. Almost like Forrest Gump, you know, he was telling his past. Uh huh. And I noticed already his green eyes. Very green. And they called their last walk the Green Mile instead of the last mile. Because it was like, like faded limes. Them donkeys are like, I'm trying, boss. <laughs> some of them are just doing some whack. Pickaxing. Some of them ain't trying at all, are they? <laughs> the snapper. You know, we keep watching these prison movies. It makes me a firm believer. I really think I'd much rather die than go to prison <laughs> for the rest of my life. No, I'm Schofielding. Oh. <laughs> Christ, give me a minute. Babe, what does he say? God, make me a fine instrument of warfare. Yeah. This and razor blades, yeah. Oh. Razor blades. Well, that's why you drink water, lots of it. You should have took the day off, gone to see the doctor. The new arrival, you know better. It's not as bad as it was, huh? I think it's clearing up. He's a dedicated employee in every movie he's in so far. That just made me think I gotta drink water, because that ain't nothing to play with. Yeah, right now, the axle. Oh, Whoa. man. Dead man! Dead man walking! He's starting that? Jesus, Dead please, man. what is he yelling about? Seriously, what's he yelling? Why is he taunting that dude? He's enormous. Can't be bigger than you. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, shoot. That man's like Tyson Fury size. <laughs> Dead man! Dead man walking! He's annoying. I know, like... Shut up. <laughs> We got it the first 40 times. We got a dead man walking here. For a sake. It's enough. Does he got like little man syndrome or something? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, y'all could, he could sleep us all. I'm not gonna have any trouble with you, big boy. Can you talk? Yes, the boss. I can talk. He looks kind of scared, don't he? Yeah, he seems kind of friendly. Uh, Let's go. Why do you hit him? Just use your words. I don't like that guy. He's annoying. Percy, any moving house down in the infirmary? Why don't you go see if they can use some help? Uh -uh. I don't care where you go, Percy. Just a moment's not here at this very moment. <laughs> Scram, Percy. Wiped mm. that grin off your shit poke face, didn't I? God damn it, Percy, get the hell off my block. Man, I'd have an impulse to hit him. Percy just got something to prove. He's about to prove how he can get beat up. We're gonna get that looked at, <laughs> Dell. In the meantime, you just stay quiet. Oh yeah, these are death row people, so. I let Harry take those chains off you. You're gonna be nice. Your name is John Coffey. Yes, sir, boss. Like to drink. Do you leave the light on after bedtime? Cause I get a little scared in the dark sometimes. We always keep a few lights burning out in the car, though. So he's like a gentle giant, huh? And yeah, he's, he's very interesting to them. You can see it. Well, I'm gonna assume he's interesting either because he's black or because he's huge. I think it's because he's scared of the dark. And he's in there for their mind. He's just someone. like a giant monster. Yeah. Right now. Oh, yeah. I couldn't help it, boss. I tried to take it back, but it was too late. 
Pull Delacroix's car, take him down to the infirmary, see if those fingers are broken. Goddamn crazy. You probably have to answer for sending him off the mile. Right now, I want to hear about this new inmate. Aside from how big he is, okay? Is he retarded, you figure? Mm -hmm. Looks like they sent us an imbecile to execute. Imbecile or not, he deserves to fry for what he done. Ooh, it's tough, isn't it? Maybe it's like Shawshank. He just got caught up? Mm-hmm. The girls! The girls are gone! Have to look! Day's blood! Oh, That'd be no. horrific, man. Tell him we headed west! He just said they're headed west and they know what that meant. That's crazy. Yeah, in country times, people knew a lot more about that type of stuff. Mm -mm. Oh no. Oh, he killed two little girls. Either he did or he found them like that. Why is he screaming? I know. Uh, he said he wishes he could take it back or something. Or I don't remember exactly. Right, why would you be right there if you did it though? I That's don't know. That's what I'm saying. This is confusing. Oh my goodness. I, I couldn't help it. I tried to take it back, but it was too late. Boy, you under arrest for murder. What? This what does he keep saying take it back? It's coming to me like the action. I don't know. How's that pretty gal of yours? Linda's not so well, Paul. I'll be taking over to Vicksburg next day or so for some tests. Head x-rays and who knows what else. She is scared to death. Truth to tell, so am I. Maybe it's something they can fix. Maybe. This just came in. DOE on bitter buck. The true you ordered Poissy Wetmore off the block? It is. <laughs> That'll tell. You got a call because of it? Like it or not, the wife of the governor of this state has only one nephew. And his name happens to be Percy <laughs> So he's a little rat. He also mentioned he assaulted a prisoner this morning at a ship Petchmans. I didn't hear that part. Of course not. The man is mean and careless and stupid, and that's a bad combination in a place like this. May not be much longer. I have it on good authority, but Percy has an application in a Briar Ridge. Briar Ridge? The mental hospital. Then why is he still here? To mess with you, bro. <laughs> I think he just wants to see one cook up close. In the meantime, you'll keep the peace. Of course. So he's going to have to deal with him this whole movie. You give Melinda my love, okay? And show that x-ray turned out to be nothing at all. You bet. That's the second movie his friend's wife had issues. Mm -hmm. Bad. Worried about Melinda and Hal? Is that what's got you up? You got a new inmate today. I think I have something to help you sleep. You can have all you want. <laughs> Still got something wrong with my waterworks. I don't want to pass it on to you. Yeah, he's messed up right now. He yeah. can't. He isn't taking a day off to go to the doctor. She said you can have all you want. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey. Oh, no. <laughs> That's a chair. Look again. Is it right? There. Oh, it's a mouse. Oh. <laughs> That's the new guard. He's so amused by it. <laughs> it ain't normal for a mouse to come up on people this way. Maybe it's rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see him foaming at the mouse, mouse man. I don't see its mouth at all. <laughs> <laughs> he was chuckling by himself about that. <laughs> oh, Bruno, no. We'll be hip deep in my surroundings. Well, I just want to see what it'll do. In the interest of science. He said, we'll be hip deep in mice. <laughs> Man, that floor really is green, ain't it? Mm-hmm. Aww. That would have to be my new celly. He's in the damn restraint room. All right. The guy in the middle knows what needs to be done. <laughs> they have the exterminator music. Baby, have you ever seen that movie? Uh, I think it's called like Mouse Trap or something. Mouse Hunt. Oh, it was a good one. I saw that one. Let me know, guys, in the comments. What was the name of that movie? These two dudes were after a mouse the whole damn movie. It was like, come on. The mouse was like hitting them with pots and pans, all kinds of stuff. <laughs> Ratatouille. <laughs> oh, he's gone. Yeah, mice are smart. 
You let him get past you. No, I did not. <laughs> Three grown men. How smarter by a mouse. Bright side is, all this commotion probably scared him off for good. Yeah, that, that's the last we'll see of him. <laughs> there Aww. he is. Oh, don't show that guy. It's so cute. He's like, mmm, delicious. I me some rat pie. Did he just lick his comb? Isn't that what they do? Just lick your hair down? I don't know. I ain't never been one of those types. <laughs> On Red Dead, you <laughs> use grease, though. You little son of a bitch. There he is, big as Billy Befrigged. I thought Brutal was pulling my leg. They said he's big? <laughs> That's a goddamn mouse. Yeah. Give him some room, Percy. Huh? <laughs> See what he does. All right. <laughs> They're so interested in him. I don't know. These guards in this prison are interested in everything, ain't they? And they're like, let's see what he does. Mm-mm, Percy. If you hit this mouse, you're about to freak out. What the? Why is he so stressed about the little mouse for? I'm going to... Just oh, he likes the mouse. I'm gonna rip your disease head off, mm -hmm. you little piece of shit. Oh, he's, he's a little mental, dude. Yeah, what the he's heck? a little kooky. He just did all that to show his hair and then messed it up immediately. That was very impulsive of him. Boy, she met your mouse. It's in here somewhere. I'm gonna squish a little son of a bitch. <laughs> I would throw Percy in there. We already tried that. Huh? What'd you say? I said that we we'll... No, nah, let him do nah, it. No, let him do it. <laughs> Knock yourself out. Hook a nail, a bastard. <laughs> oh, yeah. He looks like the Joker. He looks like he'd be a Joker. He like, said, oh, put some yeah. Makeup on. Because he's kind of freaky looking. Oh, Shane in there, huh? You want to think about what you were doing just now? I was trying to get the mouse. Are you blind? <laughs> You're also scared the living crap out of me and Bill. Not to mention the inmates. So what? They aren't in cradle school, in case you didn't notice. <laughs> They're under enough strain as it is. Men under strain can snap. That's why our job is talking, mm -hmm. not yelling. Yeah, they're going to put them men to death. They don't have to torture them. Right. You can kiss my ass. Y'all show what? Yeah, you try it. Go on. Try it. You be on the bread lines before the week is out. I mean, one of these days, they're not really going to care about that title so much. Right. We all know who your connections are, person. You ever threaten a man on this block again, we all going to have a go. Job be damned. Yeah, tell his ass, Tom. You done? Oh, boy. Get the shit back in the restraint room. You are cluttering up my mind. <laughs> so the restraint room is never needed, it looks like, because it has a bunch of crap in it. <laughs> well, they don't need it because... He does such a good job at keeping things under control because he's calm. The peace. And a good person, yeah. That's why the warden was like, keep the peace. And he, mm -hmm. he was like, okay, that's enough, Brutal. <laughs> What's his name again? Paul. Who? Him. Your I'm daughter and family. Well, yeah, but in the movie. Paul? Paul. Let's move. I want to lose two rehearsals before he gets back. All right, sit down, sit down, rehearse it now. This is head properly shaved. That sucks. You got to rehearse your death. Work in the mile, work in the mile. Praying, Lord is my shepherd, and so forth and so on. So there's a rehearsal. Never do it again, that's for sure. Still praying, still praying, <laughs> getting right with Jesus. On your feet. Come on, two. You prayed enough <laughs> one day. So his whole thing is he's just going to approach his death with cynicism. Setting down now. That's one way to go. What do I do? Watch and learn. He's like, I want my chance to kill someone for show. Man, I want to frown. I want to frown up. Getting clamped. Getting wired, getting an old electrode. Have you ever like sat there and thought what it'd be like to sit in that chair? Hold on one. That'd be crazy. Hold on one means I turn the generator up full. You have anything to say before your sentence is carried out? I'm gonna fried chicken dinner with gravy on the taters, and I'm gonna shit in your hat. I got to have Mae West sit on my face cause I'm one horny. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, quiet, shut up, shut up. I don't want anybody remembering some stupid joke like that getting going again. 
You ever try not to laugh in church when something funny gets stuck in your head? It's the same goddamn thing. <laughs> Facts. Hold the line, Paul. Soak the sponge. Putting on the black hood. Yeah. Why is he putting that sponge on his head? Conducts electricity directly to the brain, fast like a bullet. You don't ever throw the switch on a man without that. That's so scary. I know at this point, his, his part's sort of over. He's just sitting there. They could use a mannequin for this. Your electricity should not be passed through your body until you are dead. In accordance with state law, God have mercy on your soul. Roll on to. And that's that. Jeez, <laughs> this mouse must have a real role to play. <laughs> All right, let's do it again. He's sneaky. Let's get it right this time. Get that idiot out of the chair. They're kind of professional at this, though, which is sad. <laughs> well, they have good leadership for sure. Yeah. It'd be a dang circus show without Paul in there. That'd be a really grim job, though. Like, you'd have to pay me up. That's so sad, man. You think if a man sincerely repents on what he'd done wrong, that he might get to go back to the time that was happiest for him and live there forever? Would that be what heaven's like? I just about believe that very thing. Aww. No ego or anything. Just told him what he wanted to hear. Had me a young wife when I was 18. Spent our first summer in the mountains. Made love every night. And we'd talk sometimes till the sun come up. That was my best time. It'd be so easy to make this such a assembly line, get them in, get them out, but... Like, shut up, get in the thing. Yeah. It'll be fine. But they're not doing that. I love that. You'll do fine. All a bit of buck. Your electricity shall not be passed through your body until you are dead. God have mercy on your soul. Guys, don't start a war, but let us know in the comment section what are your views on the death penalty. Let's be polite to each other, please. Roll on, two. Oh. That guy's loving that. That was probably got the biggest erection of his life right now. He's not dead. Oh, gosh. Again? That's about all you can pray for is to just go quick. Adios, chief. At that point, you just got to man up and face hell. it. Let's know if it's hot. With some dignity. Why do they not slap him? Hey, He's so... You square with the house again. So keep a goddamn hands off him. That's a tough job. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't want to do it. Goodness. I know they're guilty of terrible things, but geez. What's up his ass? You. Are. You. <laughs> so ignorant. <laughs> Why don't you just move on? Take that job at Briar Ridge. Sounds to me like a pretty good job. I might just take it too. As soon as you put me out front. Seeing a man You're just die, no, that's not enough. You gotta be close enough to smell his nuts cook. I just wanna be out front, is all. Come on. One time. And then you, you said know you what? wanna smell his nuts cook. You be rid of me. I swear. And if I say no? I might just stick around for good. Make me a career of this. He just learned oh. about it. Why would you let him, you know? He was just learning the ropes one execution ago. Yeah, I'd accidentally let a couple prisoners out. Why is Dell out? Why is he that damn mouse? You are not going to believe this. <laughs> oh, he does have the mouse. <laughs> it's his buddy. I don't damn it out mouse. Watch this. <laughs> Aww. Oh, he's like a trick mouse, like mm -hmm. Air Bud. He needs something now. He's smart, Mr. Jingles. Mr. Jingles. Mr. Aww. Jingles. Could I have a box for my mouse so we can sleep in here with me? I notice your English gets better when you want something. <laughs> we'll see what else he can do. <laughs> hmm? Mr. Jingles. Wanna play fetch? Wanna play fetch? So wanna let it <laughs> Oh, he's speaking that Creole talk. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Aww. That is kind of cute. He's going to have him a buddy you now. You've never done. That's so smart, Mouse Dale. 
<laughs> I hear circus mouse suck. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. That's just what he is, too. He's a circus mouse. And when I get out of here, he's going to make me rich. That's what I meant to say. Right, see if you don't do Not that. trick mouse. Circus mouse. <laughs> uh, get him well, away. First he wants to away. chop his tail off. Looks like you find yourself a new friend there, Dale. Don't hate him. The one I chase. Yeah, that's the one. Dale's been asking for a box. Might keep it for a pet. What do you think? We ought to find a cigar box, get some He's cotton the batting from the dispensary to line it with. There you go, Percy. No, I mean, I I'm not buying his crap. Right now, I'm yeah. not buying his crap. Neither are they. But that was a good idea. Al, you want to see me? Close the door. It's going to be about his wife, probably. In Tetris. You got a new prisoner coming in here tomorrow. William Wharton, a problem child. Jake Paul. Got Billy the Kid tattooed on his left arm. <laughs> Killed three people in the holdup. One of them, a pregnant woman. He's very emotional. I know. Al. It's a tumor, Paul. Oh. Those tattoos old, man. A brain tumor. It's the size of a lemon, they say. Oh, shoot. Way down deep inside where they can't operate. Inoperable, so she's going to die, huh? I can't think how. Wow. So she's kind of on death row herself. For the life of me, Paul, I can't think how to tell my wife she's going to die. I forgot about that. Right, he's just been chilling with this. You know, if it wasn't for that mouse, this would be a really dark movie. I know. That's where his bathroom is? <laughs> yeah, in an outhouse. Oh my gosh, I thought those were witch huts. <laughs> he's been drinking too much prime. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Dude. Oh, oh god. Yeah, that happened to me one time. I was drinking too much coke during the summer and I got like a... See Dr. Ugh. Bishop. Billy the Kid. Oh jeez. He was in Charlie's Angels, that guy. That's who, the bad guy? Mm, I think sure so. Sure one, one, one of the angels. <laughs> Boy is dope to the gills. Dane had me on the clothes. Uh, you put on these clothes now, you hear? We're gonna have to do this. You've been declared competent, mm -hmm. son. Means you're gonna ride the lightning. Mm -hmm. Man. Man, somebody's been spanking him on the butt. Is she gonna bruise us? <laughs> He's been having a party or something. How can they declare him competent, though? He's like drooling. Well, I think he's on drugs. I think they drugged him up for the uh, transport and all that to make sure he didn't cause any problems. Because he's the oh, type that'll headbutt oh. you and spit on you. And so he really is a Hellraiser. Yeah, they doped him up. Oh, you don't look so good. Oh. They're kind of his friends. Right, yeah, they have respect for him, too. I love that. I need to see you down here, folks. I got things to tend to just now, John Coffey. You just, just stay still in your cell. Bad day for him. E block. Oh, and they have that new guy coming in, and he's having it that bad? you imagine a bladder infection so bad you're sweating like that? Oh, man. And you're at work? Come on. Go. That drool is too much for me. Why isn't he hollering? Dead man. Oh. He just said careful. <laughs> <What>? uh, <laughs> He's just causing hell for the hell of it, basically. Yeah, but why'd they have to hurt the sniper guy? Ooh. No. Oh no, he's really in trouble. Jeez. Oh, Come on, Percy, get in there, big boy. He said, where are you going? <laughs> That's Pecco's bill right there. <laughs> Come on, Percy, there's your chance. Go beat the mess out of him. No. Yeah, it's CS Bruno's gonna come in. Dang, man went right down on his face. <laughs> He's a what? Big fucker. Where'd you come from? Oh. <laughs> right, that's what I would have done. 
What the heck, Percy? Percy's a coward. That man's in handcuffs, and you're still scared to hit him. Hold on, dude. Maybe he didn't want to help him because he wants to move up in the line. Maybe he's just a tiny little rat. He didn't either. We thought he was doped. You didn't ask. Well, I guess that's not a mistake. You'll be needing to make again anytime soon, is it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he tricked them. <laughs> he tricked them, boys. That whole... It was just an act. Drooling on himself. I wish he would've hit Percy, though. I know. The one person who needed it. Percy, you make the report to the warden for me. Why would you trust them? Uh, I got the mile. Till you all come back. Go on. I don't know, man. It'd be really hard to treat that dude good after he did that to me. I know. <laughs> really hard. Like a wet bucket of water every night might teach him. Mm -hmm. He's really going through it. He just tried to be strong for them. Oh, He's no. so patient. <laughs> he just let that whole thing happen. He just. This is not a good time. <laughs> John Coffey, not a good time at all. <laughs> but I need to see you, boss. I need to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot went down before he finally brought that up again. Close. Oh, you know you ain't supposed to then. Mind your business, Dale. What do you want, John Coffey? Just to help. <laughs> Where'd you just grab him at? Oh, he's grabbing his thing. Where he's hurting? Oh, he must be. What the? I was gonna say he must be squeezing it out, but now the light's coming on. What? He doesn't seem scared for some reason. Well, that took a left turn out of nowhere, didn't I? I know. What the heck? Don't go for killing Bowser! Dale, for Christ's sake, shut up! <laughs> Dale's a ruin, though. Oh. What? <gasps> Whoa! That's like spores, like on Last of Us. So he just sucked something out of him? I don't think he sucked it out. Uh, not like that, you know what I mean? Like, with <laughs> yeah, his I know hand. what you mean. Yeah, he pulled it out or something. Now he's discharging it? How do you feel, Paul? What did you just do to me? I helped it. Didn't I help it? I just took it back so off of time, my boss. I oh, wish I could God. take it back. He keeps right. saying, I wish I could take it back. So he was trying to, like, heal them girls, maybe? Right, just how did he get involved there, though? You know what I'm saying? That's the only, like, maybe he was trying to do that, but how did he get there? Yeah, he's a good soul for trying, because with all them white dudes running around mm -hmm. looking for their daughters, that big black guy, they're gonna blame him. And he's sitting there with the bodies, so. But he's walking. Boss, what am I gonna do to you? Oh my gosh. He healed him, didn't he? If he pees, if he pees, like normal. Look at that sponsor right there. <laughs> wow. Hopefully that was a one-time thing. <laughs> Thanks, John Coffey, jeez. Man, he blew that thing out like it was a demon. <laughs> Man, it had a demon in his thing. Uh-oh. <laughs> How you feeling? This old house is gonna be shaky. <laughs> oh, not too bad. Baby. <laughs> <What's the doctor laughs> say? I mean, it's probably been weeks at this point. <laughs> Who knows with that? It's due tonight. Sounds like you're trying to talk about food. <laughs> How are you doing? What does it feel like? Well, I know what it feels like. Well, John Coffey just helped them out, didn't he? Dang, I didn't think we were going to get the moan scene. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. Thank you, John Coffey. Oh, my God. <laughs> Paul, yeah. not that I'm complaining. Uh -huh. but we haven't gone four times in one night since we were 19. <laughs> Well, 31. I never actually made it into Dr. Bishop's yesterday. Brutal. Paul. So you think Listen, John maybe gave him like some extra I'm magic? I'm taking the morning off I don't sick. know. Or do you think he you just really... For me? 
took it all. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm sure I'll feel better. You're sure you ought to do this? I'm not sure what I'm sure of. Yeah, I didn't really think about that. That'd be a mind melting experience, man. Has somebody grab you like that and kill you? Yeah, like they're a healer. Mm hmm. Got some company. Isn't that Lieutenant train? Dan? Let me see his face. Mr. Hammersmith, your office said I might find you. Yeah, that's Lieutenant today. Dan. Green Mile. I've heard of it. Lost a few clients your way. I'd like to ask you about one of them. Oh, uh, he's going to ask him about John Coffee, mm -hmm. isn't he? That's his attorney? Right. Lieutenant Dan? Mm -hmm. Let's go. Which client? John Coffee. Uh, Coffee. He doesn't like the dark and cries on occasion, but other than that. He cries, does he? Well, he got a lot to cry about, I'd say. You know what he did. Kids! Let's just about ready, y'all. Come on up. Hi, <laughs> So country. A man who does a thing like that has often developed a taste for it over time. It occurred to me. Might be easy enough to follow his back trail. Yeah, he's too nice. He doesn't really fit the profile. Right. You think so, but you'd be wrong. Believe me, he tried. Like he dropped out of the sky. People are drifting by the thousands looking for jobs. So they don't really know who he is. Right. There doesn't seem to be any real violence in him. I know violent men, Mr. Hammersmith. I deal with them day in and day out. You didn't come up here to ask me whether you might have killed before. You came up here to see if I think he did it at all. He was found with the victims in his arms. And yet you defended him. Kids! Lunch! Y'all listen to your mama now. Yeah, get off them swings. <laughs> they didn't have a chance, did they? <laughs> we had us a dog. Just a sweet mongrel. A mongrel? You get to know it often. You get to love it. It is of no particular use. But you keep it around because you think it loves you. Adam, come here for a second. Mm. He still has the one good eye. That dog attacked my boy for no reason. Just got it in his mind one day. Same with John Coffey. He was sorry afterwards. Of that, I had no doubt. But those little girls stayed and murdered. Maybe he'd never done it before. My dog never bit before. I mean, I understand the logic from his point of view. Is Coffey guilty? Yes, he is. Don't you doubt it. And don't you turn your back on him. You may get away with it once, or even a hundred times. But in the end, you'll get bit. Dang. So he's basically saying that he's a killer through and through, so even though he might try to trick you like he's not at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. I don't know, man. I like John Coffey. I don't think he did it. I, I don't think so either. John? Smelling me some cornbread. <laughs> From my missus. Yeah, she says thank you. Time's 80. She wanted it. Thank you. Thank me for what? Well, you know, for helping me. Helping you with what? <laughs> <laughs> oh. He said, spirit Show fingers. Mrs. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Several times. <laughs> <laughs> this conversation. I know, it was so wholesome, wasn't it? Mm. He goes, oh. <laughs> oh, not oh, the thank you for my life from over here. <laughs> I surely can. Can I give Dale, Mr. Jacobson? Oh. <laughs> you can do with it as you please. This for deal, Mr. Jank. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what about me? I'm going to get some too, isn't it? He's so nice, he might just give him some. Mm -hmm. I think I'll just keep the rest in. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so he don't like that guy. <laughs> oh, John. <laughs> Mr. Jingle's like, He's dancing, yeah. <laughs> Doing a Fortnite dance. My mama will tank it too, but she's dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What about me? Don't you hold that on me, you big dummy. You definitely don't give him any. And that's why you're not getting any. Slap his fingers. You'll keep a civil tongue on my block. Uh-uh. There's no shot. Mm -mm, you uh -uh. gotta whoop his butt. Right in the eye, too. You get that one for free. Oh, you too chill. He done choked out two people, spitting on people. That guy's bold. I wanna, that's what I'm saying, just do it to Percy. <laughs> Good shot, Warden. Uh-uh. Did he no. just piss on the <laughs> warden? I thought the warden. Oh, that wasn't the warden, was it? No, that's like a boss or something. Son of a bitch pissed on me. Did y'all like that? We've been meaning to clean out that room for a while, haven't we? Oh, yeah. Oh, here it goes. There you go. That's what you deserve. Hey! Hey! Listen now! Listen now! 
listen now, move and date. Uh-uh, he's gotta go. He's uh -huh. gotta go in there, talk to him and all that junk. I wouldn't get near him. I wouldn't let him spit on me. You can come in here on your legs, but you go out on your backs. We'll go man to man. <laughs> Piss on me. He was like, Billy the Kid got y'all. That's what I was saying, guys. That man right there, he wouldn't go to sleep on a dry mattress. I would soak his ass all day, every day. He'd be cold 24-7. <laughs> Until he learned his life. Uh, yeah, every 30 minutes I'd do that. <coughs> I'm not as nice as some of these people. You wouldn't piss on me. Come on, Wild Bill. Little walk it, walk it. Don't you call me that? Thank you, Wild Bill. Ah! Oh, he ah! hates that. Ah! That's like when that guy didn't get called a samurai. Who? When Joe Rogan. Oh, when Joe Rogan was interviewing. Uh, I'll be good. Well, I'll be good. I'm Sasuke not good. I am samurai. <laughs> he said I'm no samurai. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's where you belong right there. Oh, lights out. Let's hey, go. Hey, fellas. I keep the light on. <laughs> I'll, I'll learn my lesson. I'll be good. Will you? Mm-mm. That's 30 more days after that statement. 30? <laughs> you a cruel girl. He peed on someone. Give you a nickel for that moon pie. There you go. How'd he get a nickel? I don't think I'd have came off that moon pie for a nickel. Especially not in that time, the 30s. <laughs> Why'd he shove it in his mouth? Oh, he's waiting to throw to spit it on him. I will kill you, dude. <laughs> I swear to God, bro. I'm gonna stop saying that because you guys are gonna think I'm psycho, but you have no idea. Zambo! Ah, swear to God. Back to that room, fella. No! No! You dumb. Now go shower off, buddy. Yeah, I don't wanna look at you, bro. That moon pie thing was pretty original. Gotta give him that. Yeah, sure. When it happens to him, not you. The guy acts like a damn zoo animal. <laughs> He's just causing havoc on this block. I don't like him. I can't believe how invested I am in this movie. I know. Like, I'm so into these characters right now. Good lord. Hey, I'll grab a few things. It's a big day for you and Mr. Jingles. What you talking about? Important folks heard about your mouths. Well, see him perform. What? You fellas coming? No, we got other fish to fry just now, Dale. Knock him for a loop, Dale. Just like Mr. Harry said. Oh, are they buddies? All right, let's move briskly, folks. There's not much time. Oh. All right, rehearsing now. This is his rehearsal. Oh, they did all that for him. All right, everybody have a seat. Man, that's the saddest thing I've I ever know. seen in my I'm life, like, man. My heart is so broken right now. Edouard Delacroix, electricity shall now be passed through your body until you are dead. God have mercy on your soul. Roll on two. So he's letting him be in charge? I think in his mind, he just wants him to get up there, do his thing, kill someone, and leave. Very good. Like, very supervised. Very professional. He's acting a little better. Yeah, maybe he's changed. So? Oh, they love Mr. James. They laugh over there, they cheer, they clap their hands. Oh. Well, that's just aces. We're happy for you. <laughs> yeah, we are. <laughs> <laughs> Boo! <laughs> oh. Why? Percy, you a punk. You trying to beat up old people like Jake Paul. Come on now. I was just having ah! 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 Oh. Let him go. Nah, let him hold him. What? <laughs> Man, you should have let him hold him for a minute. I was just playing. I let him go. I think you sweet on old Billy the Kid. <laughs> it's not laughing, Dale. Oh, oh. Hey, hey, he got scared. <laughs> Man, you make water in his pants like a little bee. <laughs> Chill, bro. I want to shut up. Don't touch me. And Paul's still trying to be good to him. I know. You a good guy, Paul. Because I'd put his face in it. Like a dog. That's Hell so yeah, I would. You talk about this to anyone, I get you all fired. Now I'm going to go tell your he calls, relative. <laughs> he calls corporate. Stay. I'm going to go tell his relative he pees his pants. Oh, they made him feel good about it. You keep laughing, you French fried. F He's in charge Whitmore of his thing. Good name for you. Where's Whitmore do a dance? Listen to him squishing in his pants. <laughs> that guy's kind of weird too, though. 
Well, he is on death row. Like, he probably, yeah. he probably did something a little kooky. Aww. How could a boy be trusted with Mr. Tank? We forget to feed him. Aww. That's so sad. He's worried about him. He, like, found his purpose very late. It's so sad. I'll take him there. Merci beaucoup. Thank you kindly. But you live out in the woods. Mr. Django, he be... He be eight. He be scared to live out in the big woods. Mm. Aww. How about Mouse Bill? <laughs> Mouse Bill? Tours are acting down in Florida. Is that right, Paul Tallahassee? Yeah, yeah. He's making that up to give him some peace, peace of mind. Yeah. Wow, man. You think they take Mr. James? I mean, he is pretty smart. Oh. <laughs> what is Mouse Bill? Tours attraction, I said. You'll have to pay. Well, you shit me? Of course you pay. Dime a piece. Two cents for the kids. For the kids. Yeah, inside the tent, they got <laughs> this, uh, Miles City. Made out of Jeez. old boxes and oh. toilet paper rolls. Guys, this is too much, man. It hurts my feelings so bad. Yeah, that's it. That's the blade for Mr. Jenkins. <laughs> You're gonna be a sick as Miles, that dog. Aww. Bro, that had to be Percy. Was that Percy? Bro, it was Percy. It's just a matter of time, really. Mm -hmm. As soon as I saw the animal, man, I knew it was about to come for her. What a dick, dude. Give him to me. Oh. Give him to me, it might still be time. Now everyone's gonna know if he does this. Everyone. What the hell? Please, John. Help him. Oh. Oh, dear Jesus. Look at the tail. <laughs> Bro, he's blowing life into him. Or he's taking the pain out. I don't know. I thought he's like Kirby sucking it out. They said earlier he... It's like he just fell from the sky. Like he was an angel or something. Yeah, look at this light. Is Percy seeing this? <laughs> no, he ran off because he's a brat. <laughs> Wow. I feel like I'd wake up the next day and not really know if I saw that or not. Right, just like doubt everything. Question everything. Oh my god. shot John Coffey. <laughs> what did you do? I hit Bill's mouse. That was crazy as hell. I know. Gonna live in a mouse city. Oh, he believed it too. Florida. Boss pussy bad. He step on Dale Mouse. Took it back to That's what he so that is what he meant by trying to take it back. He was trying to heal the girl. So he didn't someone kill else him. did it. Yeah, basically. Bro, you come along with me. You okay, baby? Okay, clean you up a little bit. Okay. Thank you. Mm -mm. Now don't start in on me. You're just a mouse. Mouse is fine. You know better at mouse killing than you are. No, and anything else around here. Oh. He told him. <laughs> After all those talk we had about keeping the prisoners calm, aren't you relieved? See for yourself. He was over there spit shining in that chair. I know, because he's. Ugh. He's a freaking psycho. Don't let nothing happen to Mr. Yanko. You switched him somehow, you bastards. I always keep a spare mouse in my wallet. <laughs> <laughs> It's just who the hell you think you are. Huh? Put his ass in the chair. Percy, I want your word. I put you out front for Dale. You put in your transmitter, Briar Ridge. What if I just call up certain people? Tell them you're harassing me. Go ahead. You even say it annoying. Yeah, harassing me. Four men will swear you stood by. While Wild Bill tried to strangle Dean to death about that, people will care. Even your uncle, the governor. <laughs> I put you yeah, Percy, the statue. <laughs> you put in that transfer. All right. You make a promise to a man, you shake his hand. Yeah, you little dweeb. It's weird. That guy just wants to be hated or something. I know. Because people want to try to like him. Is this it already? <laughs> I don't want Del to go. Well, they didn't tell us his crimes, did they? No, but it doesn't did matter. Just in this right here, he's just been so kind. Yeah. Can't they postpone it? 
because it's thunderstorming. You mean a rain delay? Hey, boy. Yes. Hey, hey, Mr. J. And while Delacroix, will you step forward? I hate how in the last moments they have to be so formal and professional and impersonal. Boss Ashcombe, don't let nothing happen to Mr. Jango, okay? <laughs> you take it. Oh. I can't have a mouse on my shoulder, wow. I'll take him, boss. Just for now, if Dale don't mind. Yeah, you take him, John. You, you take him till this foolish one be done. You gonna take him to Florida to that Mouthville? We'll do it together, most likely. People bear down about peace to see him. Two cents for the kids. Oh. He never goes out. That's right, Dal. You're gonna make lots of money. You're a good man, boss. You too, boss. I sure wish I could have met you guys some ways out. Or if I'm gonna meet you. Je I was not prepared for this movie. <laughs> I was just not prepared for it. It's crazy because they care more. They care so much about how they're perceived by these people in their last moments as much as they care about the dignity that they're going to face their death with. I know. I just love how they could give them real answers and they don't because they just want them to have peace. Well, he knows the fires are stoked and that Satan's imps are weak. I mean, she probably has the right to feel that way. I know, but, you know. Yeah, it's all right. That's who you don't want to see. Oh, huh. But this is it of him after this, right? Once he just does this little deed, we don't have to deal with his butt anymore. Thank gosh. Dang, this movie broke my tearless streak. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you be still, Mr. Jenkins. Edward Delacroix, you've been condemned to die by a jury of your peers. You have anything to say before sentence is carried out? I'm sorry for it. I'm sorry for what I do. I give anything to take it back, but I can't. He's probably been on death row for so many years. Don't forget about Mouthfield. Hey, there's no such place. What a dig, dude. It's just a fairy tale these guys told you to keep you quiet. <laughs> just thought you should know. Oh my god. That was terrible. That was genuinely like the worst. He's such an idiot. <gasps> he didn't wet the sponge. And they said how important that was. It conducts the electricity through the brain. Oh my gosh. What is this going to mean? He's weird. He has the same mindset as people who like murder prostitutes. Just like that no one's going to cares. Yeah, just prey on the uncared about, like prey on the evil. Like, I don't, you get what I'm saying? It's just weird. I don't know. You're a weird dude person. It makes you also evil. Huh? Electricity shall now be passed through your body until you are dead in accordance with state law. God have mercy on your soul. He must have done something real bad because there's lots of people there. So. Do you think they'll get him off death row? Or do you think he's gonna have to face the chair too? I don't know. How much time in the movie got left? About an hour. I don't know. He noticed there's no ripple in it. What a dry floor. Roll on two. How's he feeling it? You Billy the kid's getting hype. <laughs> Oh my god, so that's like the worst possible. God damn sponge is trying to you stop it. It's too late for that. Oh my god. Those people are even like, this doesn't even feel right. All because of you, Percy. That's what he wanted right there. That's what he wanted to see. God, the smell. Oh. 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 Yeah. Mr. Jingles escaped. Is he trying to take the guy's He's pain? either taking the pain or he's just such an em empath that he's just feeling it. Oh no. <gasps> it's like his shirt caught on fire. Can I kill the juice? No, roll! For Christ's sake, roll! 
That's insane, man. That is oh. the worst way. His head just caught on fire. Oh my god. I bet you feel great, Percy. He's going like, I didn't know the sponge was supposed to be wet. That guy is crazy. Why don't you shut it down? He's still alive. You want me to shut down while he's still alive? He's still alive? Happened? Oh my god. You watch, you son of a bitch. I mean, that's gotta be the end of Percy, right? Oh my god. You do it. You're running this show, ain't you? All those people are like, we didn't want to see all that. Like, that was too much. Oh, wow. That was crazy, man. This is one of those complicated, impossible movies because, in a sense, he probably deserved it. But I don't know. Ah! Yeah, he didn't know it was supposed to be wet. Yeah, I caught him. How can you say no? You saw what he did. Damn, of course, dead. Now, there's nothing can change that in person. It's not worth it. So he just gets away with it. Is that how it works? What in the blue f was that? There's puke all over the floor up there. And the smell. And that asshole Wharton is singing about it. Can he carry a tune? De yeah. escalation. What in the hell happened? An execution. A successful one. How in the name of Christ can you call that a success? Edouard Delacroix is dead. Something to say. Yeah, speak up, Percy. Why are your lips so pursed, <coughs> Percy? I didn't know the sponge was supposed to be wet. I'm not slapped the shit out of his. Percy f***ed up, pal. He's putting in a transfer request to Briar Ridge tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Back then, you'd get away with anything, because I'd have to prosecute him. Right. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Stanky, banky. <laughs> You're about 10 seconds away from spending the rest of your life in the padded room. Oh, damn. I can feel it from here. What do you mean? He out of the die, though. He the lucky one. Where else? And that's the jam. Run away under the door. Don't think he'd be back. He felt it, too. Do me. Aw. Mm. Oh, let her just get out. So he took some of that pain away from Dale to make it bearable. Yeah. The hope. Oh, he always says that. Me too, John. So there's only two of them now. In that block, yeah. An angel and a devil. Did you ever see a dream? This sounds like some Fallout music. Did you ever have a dream? I hate this. Oh, that the warden's house. Did you ever see a dream? He's so sweet though, because he's still trying to take such good care of her. And they care a lot about her. She's having one of her good days. What's a bad day? She's not herself anymore. She swears. Most awful language you can imagine. She doesn't even know she's doing it. Mm -hmm. I'm glad she's having a good day, Paul. I'm glad for you and Jan. They both can't sleep. If you don't tell me what's on your mind, I'm afraid I'll have to smother you with a pillow. <laughs> I'm thinking I don't know what I would do if you were gone. You too, babe. I love you. I love you too, baby. Well, you sure do know how to cook chicken. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Brutal. Mm. You gonna hog all them taters? Yes, I am. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Y'all saw what he did to the mouth. I could have gone the rest of the day without you bringing that up. I'd he did want the to same talk thing it. to me. He took my bladder infection away. You're talking about a authentic healing, a praise Jesus miracle. I am. You're thinking about Melinda. Melinda? Yeah. I think there might be a chance. We well, gotta get the warden now. on board. I know. Sneak a sick woman into a sail block? Oh no, 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 no. How would never stand for that? So you're talking about taking John Coffee to her? That's really risky. And that's a lot of faith you're putting in them. That's more than just our jobs, Paul. That's prison time we get caught. See now, the way I figure it, you stay back on the mile. Why do I have to stay behind? <laughs> our boy's grown up. He knows how to manipulate them dudes. Harry's girls, they all married now. Brutal's a single man. You're the only one here with two children. Another one on the way. And let's not forget, John Coffey is a murderer. Now, what if he escapes? 
I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think he did it at all. Uh-oh. I do not see God putting a, a gift like that in the hands of a man and a child. Well, that's a very tender notion, but the man is on death row for the crime. So that's a very tender motion. He's huge. If he tried to get away... Oh, we'd all have shotguns. They should decide on them. I'd insist on that. Dang, so he's agreeing. Man, that's loyalty right there. They're willing to risk it all for this lady. I think they're doing it for Paul. Oh, well, yeah, for sure. My... They don't really know her, but they trust Paul. Oh, they're going to knock the other dude out so they don't see. <laughs> oh, Billy the Kid? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You think this is enough? I don't know. <laughs> They're like, we know we're not really good at drugging people. <laughs> Plus, that guy's wild, man. You need a dose for a horse to take him down. Look at him reading. Oh, they're going to knock him out. <laughs> oh. He's acting like he's reading that book. <laughs> <laughs> reading old school, like, anime. Fresh out of Oh, they got to make a big sense idea. I'm going to get some too, ain't I? What makes you think you deserve any? Is that your big picker? <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, I've been behaved. Come on now. Oh, I thought they were going to drug Percy, man. Come on, no, Mom. Percy's too scared to go over there. I've been good all day. <laughs> no, he'll hold it in his mouth <laughs> for hours. <laughs> I know, he'll be looking for something to spit on. <laughs> you going to stay behaved? Come on, clunk a minute. You promised me. <laughs> <laughs> or else I'll drink this myself right clunk. in front of you. <laughs> Come on now, don't be that away. I'll be good. Don't be that away. <laughs> oh, Percy. Bro, you better go get the cup back though. Because <laughs> I'm he's scary. They'll hit you in the forehead with it. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Come on, Percy. 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 Come <laughs> Dang, he's hard to put to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> he would sleep with his eyes open too, wouldn't he? Of course. What a creep. If you sleep with your eyes open, you're not a creep. But that guy, definitely. Anybody wants out, now's the time. We gonna do this? That'd be just fine. I'd like to take a ride. See, he don't even, did they even tell him yet? Guess we're all in. I don't know. <laughs> Caught. <laughs> what is this? Caring for mental patients. <laughs> but he was like not reading that. <laughs> no, you let me go! <laughs> it's a lot of lead pot. Oh, Percy. What would your mother say? Stick out your arms like a good lad. No, I won't do it. <laughs> I would feel bad, but he's so annoying. That's why I hurt my feelings when he said you're such a good man because I know I was soaked his ass with the war hose and not as good of a person as him. Please, Paul. Please don't put me in with Wild Bill. <laughs> you would think that. <laughs> yeah, you really think Paul is gonna do you like that? <laughs> he should, but he don't. <laughs> we can. <and> we are. <laughs> Dang. They were probably better off drugging him. <laughs> quiet time, Percy, so you can reflect on what you did to Dale. I would take the tape off his mouth because he might die if you leave that junk on. What if he throws up on himself? Suffocates on. Oh, he, he left, they left that magazine in there with him? In the dark. <laughs> he can't even open his hands up. We go for the ride now. That's right. We go for the ride. <laughs> How is he still awake? There's no shot. You're a bad man. That's right. <laughs> so that guy's like the devil, huh? Basically, he is. It's all the hell down, electric chair. Why are you so listening to him? I don't agree with that, just for the record. I think we should all share the same one. You're a bad man. That's right. Yeah, what a dick, dude. He's just so happy to see the stars. <laughs> Look, boss. The lady in the rocking chair. Shh. Oh, we have to be quiet now. You'll see the lady. Yeah, 
I always see you, Joe. Let's go. Go, go. They did it. I feel like the warden is going to be freaking out when they show up with John, though. I just want to prove his innocence so he can go sniff grass and be happy. So he's obviously like in tune with the nature and stuff. Right, he's just so like thrilled to be out there and look at all those lightning bugs around him, all the stars come out. We're just gonna ride in the back of the pickup truck. You know where we're taking you tonight, hippo lady? But how do you know? Don't know. I don't know much of anything. I never have. Hmm. So how did he know? Is it because he's actually an angel? Maybe. You know when so he was getting his like directions from above? Well, you know when he was saying that lady was cussing and stuff? It seemed to me like maybe that tumor was like the devil or something. Because he was saying he didn't even know words that was coming out. Mm -hmm. So maybe this was like his purpose. And that's why he doesn't know much about it. Besides, I don't know. He doesn't have too much like free will in his thoughts. He's just, you know, an angel. Boss, look. Someone's up. You keep John here till we call you. Don't you feel like John could get misconstrued? Like... Who the hell goes there at 2.30 in the goddamn Ow. morning? It's, it's us. It's, it's Paul and Brutal. It isn't a lockdown, is it? All right. For God's sakes, just take your finger off the trigger. John Coffee. Ho! No, don't be mean to him. I said ho! Hal, put the gun down! Ho! Hal! 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 Oh, she's having one of her bad days. Right, like if he's healing her, I'm scared that Hal's gonna think he's like trying to kill her. We are here to help. Hell, what? You're gonna have to trust me. Let's go, Hal. Trust him. What do you want? Help! Make him go away! Just to help both. Oh my gosh. Don't you do it! Help! Boss, you just be quiet. Paul's taking a big risk, ain't he? I know. Because regardless, if this doesn't work, then he's in just in trouble, you know? And that guy right there could be playing you for a fool. Right, we just don't really know. Kind of like Billy the Kid did. Whatever his name is. She's probably so confused. But she doesn't, like, look scared. Yes, yeah, she does. She just looks sick. It's all right now. Just watch me. Don't come near me. Pig. Okay, now, yeah. Yeah, she's tripping. Is that tumor <laughs> pressing on her brain? Buddy, I have so many scars. Don't hardly remember me. What if that's all the times he's healed people? What's What if he's just covered in scars because he's an angel? He's been fighting. Only not spelled the same. Oh. I see it. I see it. <laughs> you be still. <laughs> so he's got to make contact with the area. That's why he grabbed his thing and That's why covered up the whole head. mouse. Exactly. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That was like a lot. Brand new person. Oh, she looks so happy and healthy and beautiful. Sick it up. Come on. Whenever he sucked out of her, he's choking on it. Just let me be. Aww. How did I get here? Oh. We were going to the hospital. It doesn't matter anymore. Did I have the x ray? It was negative. Yes. It was clear. There was no tumor. Oh, gosh. What's your name? John Coffee Mail. Like the drink. <laughs> but spelled different. Only not spelled the same. Look at her. She can move. It's like when he heals you, he gives you some of his vitality. Because she shouldn't be able to walk. Right. She's been bedridden in a chair. Mm -hmm. I dreamed you were wandering in the dark. And so was I. We found each other. Do you think that's why he knew? Was that the explanation? Like, because they literally found each other in a different, like, realm? Because she was out of it consciously? Yeah, maybe. So her conscious went somewhere else? Take it, John. It's present. <laughs> it's St. Christopher. I want you to have it, Mr. Coffee. 
can wear it. He'll keep you safe. Thank you, ma'am. Oh. Thank you, Joe. Come on, now you got to stay on your feet. He's not doing good either. <laughs> and he's so good, too. He didn't try to do anything wrong. What the hell happened to him? He's hurting me. He's hurting bad. They don't even know how to help him, though, because how can you? Yeah, that's above their power right there. Mm -hmm. Was it like the mouse? Was it a miracle? Yeah, you have no idea. Yes, it was. <laughs> he was like Hannibal Lecter right now. You know who that is? I heard of him. I take that tape off. You're going to be calm. <laughs> mm. Mm. He's so soft. That was scotch tape. <laughs> Let me out of this nut coat. In a minute. Now. Right now. I want out now. <laughs> Why is he like that? Just hard headed as hell. Now you deserve to be punished for what you did to Dale. You accepted like a man. We'll tell people how you sabotaged Dale's execution. Sabotaged? How you pissed yourself like a frightened little girl. We'll also see you beaten within an inch of your life. Let bygones be bygones. Hmm? Nothing's hurt so far but your pride. No one ever need know about that except the people in this little room. They're tough, bro. I know. <laughs> May I be let out of this coat now? <laughs> that a boy, Percy. You a slow learner, but you learned. He learned a little. I just thought of that Sansa line from Game of Thrones. I may be a slow learner, Peter Baelish, but I do learn. <laughs> yeah. Thank it all for Percy. <laughs> oh, I intend to. I intend to thank it all very hard. Starting right now. Weasel. We'll talk. Soon or later. Why'd you do that, John? Well, John always keeps saying he's a bad guy. Let him go! Oh, he's giving him he's the giving sickness. Him, bro, he put that brain tumor in him. No one's gonna believe you either, bro. Oh, wow. So he was waiting on it. He was saving it. He was waiting for him to come out. When you're straight D bag to every person in sight. Easy. Hey. Oh, he ain't talking. Is he about to be as bad off? What would you looking at? You won't kiss my ass? What the heck? Who's crying? You ain't so wild no more, are you? So basically, John put the demon in him, and then he was basically possessed at that point, and then he killed him because they were both terrible. Mm. I would be scared to be around that. <laughs> Yeah, that made me a little bit nervous to John Coffey. Even when one little speck got on me. Oh. I punished them bad men. I punished them both. Why? Why Wild Bill? I saw in his heart when he grabbed my arm. I saw what Wild Billy done. You can't have what's in your heart. You saw what? Take my hand, boss. You see for yourself. Oh, no. Huh? No. Uh -huh. I got to give you a little bit of myself. The gift of what's inside of me, so you can see for yourself. Oh, wow. Oh. Uh -huh. mm. So, pe so that freak did it. The guy that just got shot. Because he touched his arm and then he said, I'm going to show you what was in his heart. Mm -hmm. And now it's flashing back to the little girl. So he did it. Right. I think so, too. I thought so when he they said after he touched him. Look at these chills. Just oh, my chills. God. Jeez. Did he just hammer a screw? He sure did. Tough. Times are tough. Bring the girls. Girls. You heard you 
Mama. Oh. Oh, so he's working at their house because he's painting that barn. What a weirdo. I, ugh. Come on, Billy. I worked you enough for one day. And all they did was nice thing. They were being nice to him. Man, you can't trust nobody, man. You love your sister. You're making a noise. I'm gonna kill her instead of you. You're making a noise. I'm gonna kill her. You understand? The John didn't do anything other than trying to save him, huh? He tried to like bring him back to life. I guess it was too late. They love each other. That's the way it is every day. That's the way it is all over the world. Hmm. Percy. Son, son, can you hear me? Look, this boy's cheese slid off his cracker. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, is he gonna have to get sent to the mental hospital? It'd be ironic, wouldn't it? Well, he shot somebody. I'll cover for you as much as I can, but I have to know. Does this have anything to do with what happened in my house? No. What happens in the mile stays in the mile. Yeah, Percy's little ankles. Oh, Percy. Well, you know, I would feel bad for you, Percy, but you took every opportunity in your life to just suck. Yeah. The same one he's about to go work at. <laughs> the irony. Man, they sent him. And then he was reading that book, Caring for Mental Patients. Oh, yeah. Does Hal know that coffee's innocent? I mean, how can he help? Does he have the influence to do something about this? Stop the execution? No. If it can't help, don't tell him. Ever. I've done some things in my life that I am not proud of. This is the first time I've ever felt real danger of hell. Talk to him. Talk to John. Yeah, because what if that dude's an angel? He has to execute him. And he, know, like, and he knows it. You yeah. Because he's seen all these miracles happen. And he just is like, how can I let this happen? But... What can I do? Low boss. Hello, John. I guess you know we're coming down to it now. Another couple of days. Anything special you want to eat for dinner that night? Meatloaf be nice. Mashed potatoes, gravy, okra. Mm. Maybe some of the fine cornbread your missus make. Mm. If she don't mind. What about a preacher? Some of the say a little prayer. You can say prayer if you like. John, I have to ask you something very important now. I know what you're going to say. You don't have to say it. No, I do. I do have to say it. John, tell me what you want me to do. You want me to take you out of here? Why would you do such a foolish thing? On the day of my judgment, when I stand before God, and he asks me why did I kill one of his true miracles, what am I going to say? That it was my job. So I could answer. Tell God the Father, it was a kindness you done. I want it to be over and done with. I'm tired, boss. I'm tired of never having me a buddy to be with. Mostly I'm tired of people being ugly to each other. I'm tired of all the pain I feel and hear in the world. Every day, it's like pieces of glass in my head all the time. Can you understand? Yes, John. I think I can. Well, there must be something we can do for you, John. There must be something that you want. He never see me a flicker show. Oh, stop. I it's that one. <laughs> and my heart beats so that I can. And I seem to find the happiness lies. Angels just like up in heaven. <laughs> I'm tough. I'm hanging in. <laughs> this is it right here. Oh, he still has on the necklace.
be all right, fellas. This here's the hard part. John, I should have this just for now. I'll give it back after. He's comforting them. You see that? Dreamed about Dale's mouse. I dreamed Mr. Jingles got down to that place, that Mouseville place. I dreamed they was kids. I dreamed those two little blonde-headed girls is there. There's a no blood coming out of their head, and he's just fine. No one even knows the truth. There's lots of folks here hate me. I can feel it. I feel how we feel, then. But we don't hate you. Kill him twice, you boys. He's not even gonna proclaim his innocence because he just wants some no closure. Yeah. They don't. He probably doesn't even want them to imagine that. Your daughters were killed by someone worse. Yeah. I feel face before you stand up, Dean. Yes. Oh. Roll on one. At least he's not in the dark. I hope it hurts like hell. John Coffey, you have been condemned to die in the electric chair by a jury of your peers. Do you have anything to say before sentence is carried out? I'm sorry for what I am. Please, boss. Don't put that thing over my face. Oh, gosh. It's worse. I was afraid of the dog. All right, Joe. <laughs> oh my gosh, do we have to? John Cock, electricity shall now be passed through your body until you are dead. May God have mercy on your soul. This movie. We'll put on two. So he helped them go on to do something more productive. It's just that... It's quite a story. One thing I don't understand. You said you and Jan had a grown son in 1935. The math doesn't work, does it? Do you feel up to taking a walk? Why is he like outliving everybody or something? Oh, wait, he's really old. Well, she's like, it doesn't add up the math. So that's what I thought. There. <gasps> Wake up, old fella. Wake up. Oh. A baby. Baby. I think that's the same mouse. Yeah, I know. He's just, I just called it a baby because I love uh, little animals. Come so on he really did take care of him, huh? Lady. He's been walking up there all that time to take care of the mouse. Maybe it's what makes him happy. It reminds him of that time. Bienvenue au Cirque de Mousie. Oh, <laughs> this is Mouseville. Go on, you can do it. That's what the bread's for. He likes it cold because that's what the mouse <laughs> was used to in that cold block. Don't we, old fella? Oh. I think when we electrocuted Dale, a part of whatever magic was inside of him just slipped into my tiny friend here. John had to give me a part of himself. A gift, the way he saw it. When John did that, a part of the power that worked through him spilled into me. I'm 108 years old, Elaine. His wife died too, obviously. Oh, I've lived to see some amazing 
space and things, Ellie. I've had to see my friends and loved ones die off through the years. My wife, my boy. Oh, my son. And you, Elaine, you'll die too. It's my atonement, you see. Oh. It's my punishment for killing a miracle of God. You'll be gone like all the others. And I'll have to stay. Oh, I'll die eventually. But I will have wished for death long before death finds me. Mr. Jenkins? Oh. Been worried about you, boy. You hungry? I think about all the people I've loved. I think about my beautiful Jan. And I think about all of us walking our own green mile. But one thought keeps me awake most nights. If he could make a mouse live so long, how much longer do I have? We each owe a death. But oh God, sometimes the green mile seems so long. Mm. That poor fella. Good God. Sometimes you just watch a movie and it's just so sad. Bro. Sometimes you watch a movie and it gives you cry headaches. That was The Green Mile. That was Michael Clark Duncan and Tom Hanks. Babe, you cried uncontrollably in this movie. <laughs> I could hear you over there. I could feel it. Uh, I could feel your energy just like John Coffey could. And God, guys, that was so sad. We're going to get into it and break it down and all that. But I do want to say... I already know what you're going to say. That was one of the saddest movies you've ever seen because I haven't really seen you cry that hard. If y'all brought someone to that movie on a date, y'all are dead wrong for that. Especially if you're a man. And you're if you wore makeup, dead wrong for that. Right. If you were trying to show how tough you were and how stoic <laughs> you were, don't go watch that one with a date. <laughs> I thought this movie was so good, man. I thought basically the movie starts out and there's a manhunt going on. It turns out that Wild Bill, that freak character he's the one who ended up murdering the little girls which it didn't really sit right with me as soon as we met john coffee he just seemed like a gentle giant to me um it was it was just him being on the scene for me i just when he i saw him on the scene holding the girls to me i just couldn't i couldn't wrap my head around why someone would get pulled up on by so many people knowing like you know you're 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 caught i don't know then we understood later in the movie obviously that he just had a different perspective than most people. Like mm -hmm. He had more of a cosmic perspective. So in his mind, he wasn't concerned about the narrative and getting right. caught. In his mind, he just wanted to save two innocent lives. So mm -hmm. beautiful character. I think ultimately he was either an angel or he was either like someone God was working through or something. Right. But basically he was performing miracles. Yeah, mm -hmm. performing miracles. There's a lot of things we can get into this movie. So goodness uh, gracious. I, okay. guess, I guess like the main but the main thing I just wanted to point out was I just found out that the Green Mile, I thought it was some redemption, happy, whatever. It's actually like your walk to death. So I didn't really realize that I was sitting here thinking there was going to be some redemption arc of some sort. I but. guess life is green until it's not right. Right. Maybe, you know, I mean, I know they were saying the lime and all that, but there was a lot of things to tackle in this. You know, he asked and they I'm kind of getting ahead of myself. There's a lot of things to tackle in this man. Basically. The movie starts out and your first thought if you're these people is well of course he did look how big he is plus right. he's you know it was in a time where everyone was white you know and yeah. you know that's just the elephant in the room and so all those people seen him and it was really easy to other him so in that sense they automatically just assumed he was guilty and terrible which i can understand their perspective because yeah. he was sitting there they don't know him he's got his blood all he wasn't pants, saying you know? he wasn't like hey i'm innocent he was saying things that could lead you either way he wasn't projecting innocence yeah he wasn't sitting say. there trying to fight his innocence he was just right. so wrapped up in the emotion of what had happened to the little girls that he didn't even have time to promote his own innocence i guess and mm -hmm. he eventually gets sent to this prison where you meet all these awesome characters and then the main character obviously is paul and he is basically a humanitarian guard so i really liked his character because i mentioned several times in the movies how i would have done x y and z he was a better person than i was yeah. he had a lot bigger of a heart than i had um that was like some of the most emotional scenes honestly was just how he was humanizing people who a lot of other people wouldn't do the same for just like all the times when he could have just told them how it is about like you know you suck that's not true instead he just was you know giving them peace and i just think it's really telling because there was a lot of situations where 
the amount of self-control and restraint that he had to actually exercise to not be like a dick in those moments. Right. Even to Percy, even to Percy, he wasn't like, I can understand. Oh, we got to be nice to these people because they could always like harm you or make it hard for you. But his motivations weren't selfish like that. He cared more about the humanitarian reason. And I think it's just important because I mean, these people are ultimately being tortured all day psychologically because they have to face their own death. Yeah. You know, and it was just really good how they decided to treat them with humanity, basically. Um, because at the end of the day, man, as terrible as people are, you shouldn't wish death on people. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's not that's not something to play with. That's a lot bigger than me and you. Right. So. I think that's also what the director or maybe even the book, because, you know, it is based off a novel. I think the reason why we didn't get a lot of the people's backstory was so we could know them for who they were in the prison. Right. Not really like before. Yeah, exactly. That gave you a sense of like wanting to care more about them as so did the guards. So, right. And the the movie asked a lot of questions that I'm not going to personally get into. Um, You know, like, do you really believe if you're remorseful and you've done terrible things and in your last moments, you genuinely are sorry? Those types of questions, like I have my own personal thoughts on all that stuff. I'm not really going to share them because I don't want to make this movie such a beautiful movie. I don't want to make it divisive in any type of way. I just want it to be all positive. So the movie tackled a lot of really important themes, especially when it comes to your bigger purpose, faith. What does time mean? I mean, if if you're a murderer one day and then 20 years later, you're on death row and you're reformed. I mean, time is just such a weird, yeah, funny thing. You know, you're not really that same person that you was at that time, even though you share the same, you know, physical makeup and the same memories. And it's just it's just weird, man. I'm glad that I don't have to be the one to make those decisions in life. And, you know, I'm glad there's bigger powers out there other than me, man, who can tackle these questions. And I think ultimately they just came across someone who was an angel, man. And and they executed and they him almost like but they, they did didn't Jesus. feel right to do it either. Like none, nothing in them felt right about that, which was right. Which was in all the other ones, you know, they're very official. They're like, you step out immediately when John Coffey steps out. He's pretty much taking care of their mental. Like he steps right, out exactly. and he's worried about how they're going to feel after this happens. And I don't know, like, I guess after this channel, I found out I'm pretty much an empath. Like I found that out through this channel. Oh, I've been knowing that. Yeah. <laughs> well, I didn't really know that until this channel. Right. Um, Because, you know, I've worked with employees and like when I hear them cry and stuff, I kind of am like... <laughs> Like, you know, because I don't really know how to handle it because I'm not really good at it. But I found out I don't handle it well because it makes me cry. So um, seeing a real life human like that in a movie makes me even more emotional. And I'm about to cry thinking about it. But just seeing John Coffey be just like an ultimate empath and like just understand everyone's pain, even the people that didn't like him. Mm -hmm. That is just so telling and touching to me. That's what right. I that's what I got out of that. Yeah, we should all be a little more empathetic. I mean, I know a lot of smart people out there understand that empathy can be a bad thing, you know. Any 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 too much of anything can be a bad thing. If you're too empathetic, then you'll fall for anything. I mean, you know how the story goes. But I just think that the John Coffey character had just enough, man. And mm-hmm. he also showed that he could be tough. You know, that's the opposite side of that coin. Having empathy is great, but what is empathy without toughness? You know, right. what is light without and dark? And showed that through Percy and Absolutely, Wild he Bill. did, yeah. And they deserved it. So the way I perceived that was things that take hold of you inside, that make you sick, that make you whatever. I mean, I understand that it was a tumor, but you could basically, you could call that like a demon, right? Like, mm-hmm. you could call that like well, an evil Well, the reason demon. why, as I told you, when he said he couldn't see such horrible things coming out of her, like, angelic voice... That's when I was immediately thinking, like, oh, like a demon's gotten a hold of Well, he was saying that she wasn't making these conscious decisions to act like that. There was something happening on the subconscious level. So, therefore, something was a a host inside of her body was altering her consciousness, right? Mm -hmm. And it's like you said, that just goes to show that it was like a demon in a sense, you know? So, I mean, I guess back in the day, people used to call diseases demons and stuff. I mean, yeah, it would probably probably be just quick to just identify it as that because you don't have much science or books or whatever about what you need to know. Yeah. So yeah, that would be a quick way to do it. But genuinely, I felt like my take on this movie was he was an angel brought to just like, honestly, I feel like help her. That was his mission. Well, yeah, yeah. And it also... Because they walked together in the darkness. So that's why I thought maybe he was her angel. And also he came down and he had such an impact on so many other people who went on to live really impactful lives. And, you know, like the main character, Paul, like he left that job and he went to go help like you people who were in Mm -hmm. trouble. And that was something that 
I don't know if that's better. You know what I mean? Because what he was doing was so important. Right. And he was running such a like, obviously, they didn't even have to have the sorry to cut you off. No, about you that. But sorry. But like they didn't even have that that room. What's that called? The room. Pattern. The padded room wasn't even available they didn't even at the beginning. It. Yeah. Right. Because he was just run, doing such a good job because like the way he was. How would you explain it? The way he was carrying himself and the shift he was running. I guess it. he was handling these people as if God was watching, bro. Right. So him and himself before even John Coffey was involved, he was, you know, showing love and his way through not treating these people like they're complete, like like shit you know what I'm it's saying? one of those things that reality is sort of what you make of it and as humans you know we're given that power we're given that gift right we can alter our landscape in a lot of ways that other animals can't really shape their reality but you know that place could have been you know the last stop before hell you know it could have been it could have been the most dreary scary place in the world but it took one individual to make a choice to not make it that way you know even though these people have done horrible things and ultimately, that's something that's not for me to decide what should happen to their souls. You know, right. he just felt like given that place and time, he should just do the best he can to be the best person he should be. And I really love that man because and I know everyone under him also went with that. Well, they, they respected, respected that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. They did. Um, everyone seemed to get on board. But Percy, right. sometimes in life, man, there's just a Percy, man. Right. Sometimes there's always a Percy. Somewhere. There's always going to be mm -hmm. someone who gets off on running up behind someone and hitting them in the back of the head with a brick. Like I mean, there's always people that person. when they're down, always or throwing rocks right. at geese at the lake. I mean, there's just always that idiot, right? Some people just love to watch things Burn. fall into chaos, right? Yeah. I, I don't know. I, I really don't understand. I, I like philosophy. I like stuff like that. I like thinking about these types of subjects. It's really interesting to me how some people are just. I know a lot of you guys probably don't believe in the term, but some people are just evil, dude. Like some people genuinely just want to see pain. They just love it. And like can, in, in Game of Thrones words, they choose violence every day. Well, and a mm -hmm. lot of times it's explained away. Well, people who commit terrible things are actually hurting deep down. But, dude, not always, dude. Sometimes you just have people who just don't care. They're just wired that way. So um, very, very interesting movie, man. Definitely going to give me a lot to think about. I thought the acting in this movie was genuinely yes. some of the best I've ever seen. The this John was, Coffey character was... Like I said, you guys, like I'm, I cry in a lot of movies. This one right here takes the cake for the most emotional I've ever felt. But that right, that guy's acting was great. Tom Hanks, great. All the guards, great. Percy, you've, even great. You've never seen, yeah, for, <laughs> I mean, for real, yeah. And you've just never seen a character have such a role and carry himself with so much just grace and dignity. And I think ultimately that's what made it so emotional right. because... He could, was, have he could have been in there saying, I'm innocent. I'm innocent. Well, there was I'm 10 innocent. men who were, impossible situa or who were in impossible situations. And everyone besides Percy and, you know, the Bill guy, that guy decided, they all decided to just handle themselves with as much grace and class as humanly possible. And, you know, it was really telling. I thought it was interesting how even though the guy was a gift from God, an angel, whatever you want to call it, you know, he still was very human, even mm -hmm. though he didn't have his memories and he had a different experience. Ultimately, he came down in a human form. So that way, I guess humans could appreciate it. I guess in the sense, the same way Jesus did or something, right? right? So I really like the movie, man. I'm sure there's a lot of stuff we missed, but you well, know. I, I, I have questions about Mr. Jingles, though. Um, the Mr. Jingle character was great. We could, well, I, not character, but you know. Mr. Jingles was great. He was a good actor. Yeah. <laughs> objectively. Yeah, he was he was taught, he was doing that little thing so cutely. But um I was confused why when he was blowing that stuff into him, was it because why was he doing that? No, no, no. Not when he was blowing the stuff to him. That's when he brought him to life. When the guy was getting burnt Dell, how was Mr. Jingles being affected by that? I, that's why I was confused. Because the main character, um so John Coffey in that moment empathized with Dell. So he took the pain away from Dell because Dell was in the most amount of pain you could humanly Yeah. I mean every blood vessel in his face was blowing. I mean up, he right, caught fire. <laughs> right. So the main character, John Coffey, decided to take some of the pain away in that moment. But he has a gift. He has the gift of touch, right? Mm -hmm. So he touches you and he'll heal your broken shoulder. And when he was holding and it it seems like he had gifts, but he also was a gift. Yeah. So his gift to people was when he heals you, not only does he heal you, he gives you the gift of, I guess, like life in a sense. So I guess. Well, that, was, that brings me to my question about Jingles, though, because Melinda didn't live forever. 
that's why that's why I was like a little confused about Mr. Jingles living so long. Because, I don't know how long she lived. Well, he's Tom Hanks said he saw her Everyone die. Everyone die. Yeah. Yeah. So that that's the only reason. Like, if I would know, Melinda I see what you're saying. Alive, yeah. If Melinda was alive at all, you could just accept the right. premise. It would but, all make sense. But the Mr. Jingles thing. I get how it's like coming a full circle moment, you know, I get right. that, but I just didn't understand quite why he was. So th if someone could answer that one below, I'm yeah. sure I missed something. Right. It's one of those types of movies, man. It was so good. It was so emotional. Uh, you don't have to get in every little detail of the explanation. In you that don't sense, have to, you know? know. Yeah, for sure. You know, <laughs> I, I, get, I don't mind you asking, but you get what I'm saying. Yeah. And I just thought it was a beautiful movie, man. I don't really know what else to say about it. At the end of the day, be a good person, man. It, the movies don't like judge this people. make you want to be a better person. Yeah, just don't judge people, man. Like, you know, use your brain. If someone looks like they're going to stab you in the face, dude, don't act stupid. But at the end of the day, don't judge people. Uh, you never know, you know, what people got going on internally. You know, heck, maybe the person you're mean to could be an angel at the end of the day. You never know. So um, I just thought it was a brilliant movie. It was a beautiful movie. It was a very simple movie, man. There wasn't too much in it that was too mind-blowing or confusing or Anything like that. It was just a very wholesome, touching, touching feel-good movie, man. And I think it's one of those types of movies that you watch it, and like you said, you just want to be a better person. And I feel like going to be nice to people. So, yeah. Love it. Absolutely. So, be nice to us and like and subscribe. Yeah, man. Uh, if you guys <laughs> want to, for sure. If you want to see more movies like this, definitely like the video. I, don't, I mean, I know they don't just have movies like this falling out of trees, but we've been on a little Tom Hanks journey, Castaway, uh, The Green Mile, what else, baby? Forrest Gump. We watched one more Castaway. Or we watched one more Tommy. Saving Private Saving Ryan. Private Ryan, man. And I tell you what, this dude right here is just. Right. I, I also realized, guys, in my childhood, because I played softball, I did watch A League of Our Own. I think Tom Hanks was in that as well. Phenomenal. I, I don't even know what that is. So I'm looking forward to watching that, too. I'm <laughs> sure we will, because uh, we're going to check everything out from A League of Our Own to Toy Story eventually. So <laughs> um, thank you guys so much, man. We got to go. I got to go pick my nephew up. We're going to get to hang out with him today. We're going to go play some tennis, all that good stuff. We'll see you guys on the next one.